We don't know how it got there. It was originally in the grandparents' uh, bedroom next to the safe. One of two incidents involving children with handguns in just one day. Sir, it was loaded, and as the two played with it, the trigger was pulled. The boy's family has been cooperating with police. It appears this was a scary accident. Another scary accident just hours before in Murray. A three-year-old climbed onto a counter and got his hands on a gun. He accidentally shot himself in the head. Miraculously, he'll also be okay. That could have been you with your significant other, your child, and the, the blow could have possibly been fatal. Some terrifying moments for a West Jordan police officer as a metal pole goes flying through his windshield. Can you believe that? It all happened just behind me at this intersection, 7800 South and Redwood Road. Fortunately, again, no injuries here for the officer, but they really want to know who this driver is that didn't stop. A federal grant enabled the Utah Snowmobile Association to acquire this mobile classroom that they can take to trailheads maintained by Utah State Parks. Today, they were at Wasatch State Park training rangers who regularly patrol on snowmobiles. They may be the first responder for an avalanche, so they need to know the proper techniques for locating a snowmobiler buried in an avalanche and how to get the person out. To get the education, you need to join the Utah Snowmobile Association with a $30 membership fee. You can join online and find out where to catch up with the classes throughout the entire season. Big, big change coming for students in the Jordan School District next year. The district is launching a pilot program allowing junior and senior students to take classes online and start their school day just a little bit later than normal. Dr. Anthony Godfrey, superintendent of the Jordan School District, says that is one of several reasons they are giving kids this blended learning option. We like the flexibility for students. We think there are great health benefits for students to be able to start later. They can pace learning the way they need to pace it, and they can individualize their own learning. 